now this model question is related with salinity of water bodies so like the question arrange the following water bodies in the descending order of salinity okay here like the descending order it means like uh, the water body having the higher higher salinity should come first and the lower salinity should come last right so that denotes the descending order if it was given as ascending in the sense increasing so the lowest one should come first okay don't get confused with that so before going to the answer let's see i mean let's discuss about the salinity right so salinity means like the amount of dissolved salt in the water that we denote with the term salinity right so if if an water body having higher salinity it denotes that the that particular water body is having larger amount of dissolved salt in it right dissolved salt in the sense i mean it can be nacl or any other salt right so it is usually represented with uh, this denotion right so it means like if i am saying say 40 i mean if the salinity salinity is given as 40 like this right so it denotes the 40 grams of salt is present in 1000 grams of water i mean the case of water 1000 gram and 1 liter is same right so here like uh, i mean if you are using percentage right so it means 40 percentage 40 grams in uh, 100 gram of water right so this representation it means like the the 40 grams of salt is dissolved in an 100 gram of water right so salinity denotes the dissolved amount of salt and there are certain factors which can influence the salinity of water right so to to understand that let's consider an example imagine you are having two bowl of water and one is boiling water and another one is the normal i mean water at the room temperature right you are putting one tablespoon of common salt in both of them which one will dissolve faster obviously the one which is boiling will dissolve faster right so there the temperature like the warmer it is it will be dissolving faster okay and same way imagine like uh, like uh, you are keeping this dissolved i mean this bowl of water having dissolved salt in sunlight and the water is evaporating off okay the water is evaporating off now think about the concentration of salt in the remaining bowl of the water so now the percentage of the i mean the amount of the water the water has evaporated off at the same time the salt is remaining in the water right so less amount of water more amount of salt so salinity will be more right now consider another case like the same bowl of water having dissolved salt now you're pouring some more water into it so what happened to the concentration of that solution right it got i mean the, the concentration decreased so it means more amount of water and less amount of salt right now bring this to bring this into perspective right consider the earth case in an enclosed ocean if you are having more rainfall taking place there right more fresh water is added toward those region and the salinity will decrease right and if this enclosed region is towards say the tropical land where evaporation is more so the more water will be evaporated off the concentration of the salt will increase okay so like uh, the enclosed seas all the, all the options given here they are enclosed water bodies right so these enclosed water bodies the salinity will be different from uh, the open sea right so some kind of changes will be there in the sense if you imagine in an enclosed sea more i mean fresh water is draining into those regions so this fresh water will be reducing this salinity of those water body right at the same time imagine like uh, the the it's an, an enclosed sea in the sense it's lands locked and the water is staying there itself idle there itself right so all the salt carried toward those regions will make the water body more saline right so considering that like uh, let's uh, first of all let's go through each of the options in the sense that the first one the baltic sea right so the baltic sea it's a, I mean, it's an enclosed sea, like uh, having the Sweden, Finland, or Russia, like on, I mean, on its borders, right? So what happens is that the Baltic Sea, numerous rivers they are draining into this Baltic Sea, right? So what happens is that their concentration, I mean, of the salt in it will be reduced, or salinity will be salinity will be reduced in the Baltic Sea, right? So Baltic Sea is having one of the lowest salinities, right? 
next let's see the red sea so red sea is surrounded by arabian saudi arabia jordan israel like uh, the egypt and yemen okay so this region as you know is a vegetation region and it's a conflict ridden region and uh, the red sea it's more located towards the tropical land right so more evaporation will be there in the sense water will be evaporating off so the concentration will be increasing plus like uh, the river drainage towards the red sea is very minimal so what happens is that the fresh water is not carried towards the red sea so that will also increase the salinity so red sea i mean comparing with the open sea it's having more salinity right and the uh, next one the dead sea the density of the dead sea is so high that uh, we will be floating on dead sea right and it's having like a, the, as the name name denotes right dead sea i mean the flora and fauna cannot flourish on this land because it's more saline right it's one of the uh, i mean one of the oh, i mean enclosed seas with highest salinity right so the, here the reason being so it's more kind of depression the de dead sea is more kind of uh, depression so what happens is that uh, the the rivers and the streams carrying all this salt will get deposited over these regions and it's not having any any outlet at all right unlike in the case of red sea we were having some outlet but here no no outlet is there so like the mixing of the with the op op open ocean is very minimal so like the surrounding from the, all the surrounding mountain ranges the the salt will be carried towards this dead sea and will be precipitated over those regions so it's having one of the high salinity right next one the lake van which is in turkey right so this is also a completely en uh, enclosed a uh, water body it's more t seen more towards the the eastern provinces of turkey right so like uh, here like since it's completely enclosed all the salt as in the case of dead sea right all the salt or the all the streams carrying the all the salt will get deposited over these regions now like uh, this streams can deposit salt this is this can be a bit confusing right in the sense if you are calling the streams rivers we call it as fresh water right so if even if you are calling it as fresh water it doesn't mean that they are not having any salt in it so the salt i mean the salt content in this fresh water is drinkable right so that's why we are calling it, calling it as fresh water so imagine a stream is continuously flowing towards one region all this salt from the land regions will be carried towards those regions and it will be deposited there now if this is having no link with the open sea the entire salt gets deposited over those region itself so over a longer period of time the fresh water will be depositing the salt bit by bit each time the fresh water the stream will be carrying very minute amount of salt but over a longer period entire salt will get deposited over these regions right so lake van is having the highest salinity so like this fact is based on actually ncert's fact itself so like uh, there's a i mean in ncert like in the physical geography ncert this uh, fact is given in a box so like there are questions which are which the upsc is asking based on this boxes which are given in ncert right so as per the fact the salinity of the lake van comes out as 300 grams in 1000 grams of water and that of dead sea comes out as 238 right and of red sea red sea comes out as 41 okay and of baltic sea it's having around 7 grams in 1000 grams of water so like uh, as you might be i mean as you can see the uh, lake van is having the highest salinity right so like the lake van is having the highest salinity or you can say the baltic sea is having the lowest salinity so the one should come last right so if with that knowledge the one baltic sea should come last so we can eliminate a as well as c okay so now it all depends on b and d as always like if we know one more statement we will be able to get into the answer whether it should start from c i mean 3 or should start from the lake van so as i said the lake van is having the higher higher salinity even comparing with the dead sea so it should start with 4 and it should, it should end with 1 so the answer here comes out as d uh, the the descending order of these water bodies they are lake van dead sea red sea and baltic sea right